Is there life after death? Is there suffering after death? Or does everything simply end when you take your final breath? People of the past and present still hold festivals in honor of the deceased. Therefore, there must at least be strong belief of a connection between the living and the dead. Among such festivals is the Hungry Ghost Festival, which is celebrated within the Chinese communities of many different countries across Asia. The festival itself spans for the entirety of the seventh lunar month, but it is the 15th day of the month that is regarded as the Hungry Ghost Festival. This video will cover the Buddha's origin of the festival, the definition of a hungry ghost, the ghost month, how the festival is celebrated, and the taboos of the festival. In Buddha's belief, the origin of the Hungry Ghost Festival begins with the tale of Mu Lin saves his mother. Mu Lin was a Buddhist monk and a disciple of Buddha. His elderly mother was a vegetarian who unknowingly consumed a broth made of meat. She denied doing so and was condemned to hell when she passed away. Devastated, Mu Lin tried to locate his mother's soul in hell. When he found her, she was among the hungry ghosts. Seeing the suffering of his mother, he offered her some food to try and ease her pain. However, depending on the version of the story, the food was either snatched away by other hungry ghosts or became burning cold before it could reach her mouth. At a loss, Mu Lin sought out help from Buddha, his mentor, from whom he learned how to use special prayers and prepare special offerings that would relieve his mother from the status of a hungry ghost. Her soul was then saved and she was able to be reborn as a human in her next life. The name for the Hungry Ghost Festival in Buddhism is Yulan Panjie. Yulan Pan refers to the special containers used for offerings to the ancestors, and Jie means festival. Therefore, the main purposes of the festival is to appease the hungry ghosts, as well as honoring and worshiping deceased relatives and distant ancestors. In Buddhism, a hungry ghost is the reincarnation of a person who had lived their life blinded by desire, which has led them off the path of Buddhist teachings. In terms of physical appearance, hungry ghosts are described as a disturbing sight, as they have very disproportionate features. They are tall, their limbs narrow and withered, their skin is dry and mummified, they have big bulging stomachs, However, their mouths are the size of a needle, and their necks are long but thin and narrow to prevent the consumption of food and water. Hungry ghosts are allowed to roam the earth on the seventh month of the lunar calendar, hence the name Ghost Month. A lunar month consists of 29 days, and the Ghost Month is no exception. This month is considered to be the most dangerous among the lunar calendar, as it is believed that the gates of hell will open and angry and malicious hungry ghosts are allowed one month of freedom until the last day of the month when the gates of hell close again. Until then, the hungry ghosts are allowed to do whatever they please, be it visiting their living relations, seeking revenge on those who wronged them, or causing mischief for the living. Although the Hungry Ghost Festival is celebrated throughout four days, mainly the first and the second day, the 15th day, and the last day of the Ghost Month, it is the 15th day that is considered to be the Hungry Ghost Festival. The reason being that the bridge between the realm of the living and the realm of the dead is at its strongest on the 15th day of the 7th month, especially on nights with a full moon. To celebrate the festival, the living will burn joysticks, candles, fake money, paper imitations of daily necessities like clothes, houses, cars, servants, and more to ease the burdens of their ancestors in their afterlife and to avoid curses from displeased ancestors. Food is an important part of the festival. The living would hold feasts in honor of their deceased relatives and distant ancestors. After the joysticks have burned out, it signifies that the deceased have already finished their meal, and the living could then proceed to enjoy their feast, but they have to keep in mind to leave empty chairs at the table for visiting relatives. Even though the festival is about familial ties, there are still offerings for the wandering hungry ghosts outside. 
The food offerings consist of rice, oil, canned food, fruits, poles of sugarcane, and small portions of the feast, and they are often placed outside the house or on the roadside. Their purpose is to serve as a peace offering to ensure that no wandering spirits may enter the house and interrupt the family reunion, and it is also an act of charity for the hungry ghosts without living relations. There is more to the festival than just burning paper offerings and setting up feasts. In certain places like Singapore, Malaysia, and Hong Kong, there are auctions of auspicious items within the Chinese communities. Even though it is dubbed the Hungry Ghost Festival, the atmosphere of the festival is anything but gloomy and ominous. There are Chinese operas and concerts to entertain both the living and the dead, but the audience need to keep in mind that the first row of red chairs is reserved for spirits, and the living should avoid sitting there unless they want to come across a wandering spirit. As the Hungry Ghost Festival is believed to be the day when the overlap between the realm of the living and the realm of the dead is at its strongest, the living is advised to avoid the following to negate potential encounters with wandering spirits. Avoid wearing red. It attracts spirits and may lead to potential possession. Do not stay out after dark and avoid dimly lit places to avoid accidental encounters with spirits. Do not go swimming and run the risk of being drowned by water ghosts. Do not sing or whistle in dimly lit outdoors as a ghost may reply. Any sort of auspicious occasions are best avoided in the ghost month, let alone the Hungry Ghost Festival. The Hungry Ghosts are believed to cause mischief if not bring misfortune upon occasions such as weddings, housewarmings, and other happy occasions like buying new houses or cars. The renovation of old or abandoned houses should be avoided in this period as it may enrage the spirit of the former homeowner or wandering spirits who may be resting within the house. All these taboos may originate from superstition and have been watered down over time, but it is still best to not provoke what we cannot see. In conclusion, the Hungry Ghost Festival is at its very core a tool to pay respect and honor the deceased. The festival also shows that even as time has passed, the living still retains the notion of life after death and the idea that sins could result in an unfavorable afterlife.